Hello again, Brian Perry, Executive Vice President, Chief Investment Officer of Pure Financial Advisors. Coming at you today, it's all about the Benjamins. That's right, we're gonna talk about the dollar. This is a follow-up to a video that we did back in May, and we're still getting questions about the position of the dollar in the global financial system, and we wanted to answer some of those questions. For starters, how are the world's currency reserves allocated? You hear a lot of talk about, are people gonna leave the dollar and store their currency reserves in an alternative currency? The answer so far, no. So far, when you look at the share in the dollar, almost 60% global reserves held in the US dollar, more than three times as much as the follow-up currency of the euro at less than 20%. A lot of people talk about what about China? Are all the currency reserves going to go there? You can see only 2.6%. So China has a long way to go there before catching up with the US dollar. Well, what about the dollar's challenges, right? The dollar has all kinds of things going on. US political terminal, turmoil, economic volatility. Are it the US's share? It's 60% of total reserves, but is the share collapsing? Again, the answer, no. You can see it has trended down slightly in the last 25 years but not much, and in the last 10 years or so, been pretty stable. So the dollar share of global reserves is extremely high and remaining relatively steady. Not to say it can decline a little bit over time, but there's really no alternative to the US dollar right now. The Eurozone, as we all know, has its own issues. Um, those countries aren't necessarily all on the same page with their approach to finances and economics. They don't have 250 years of history like the United States does. You look at Japan, they have tough demographics. Their economy has been relatively stagnant for 30 plus years. You look at China, their currency is not freely convertible. If you want to have reserves, the whole point is you're saving those for a rainy day. You want to be able to take them out. China, the yuan, not fully convertible, makes it very, very tough to have it as a reserve currency. Well, what about the news headlines that international trade is going to be conducted without the dollar? You hear Russia and China talk about doing trade among themselves or whatever, right? Does that mean other countries are gonna swap their goods and services in other countries, currencies? So far, no. The blue bar here is the share of trade in each region of the world done in the US dollar. You can see in the Americas, so North America, Latin America, almost 100% of all trade is done in the US dollar. You look at Asia Pacific, home of China and Japan, still 75% of trade done in the US dollar. The rest of the world, again, almost 80%. The only region, region of the world where the dollar isn't completely dominant for trade is in Europe, where much of the trade is done in the Euro. And of course, that makes sense. If you're Germany and France and you're doing trade across those borders, well, you have the current current, common currency of the Euro, so why not use that? Is the dollar dominant in global financial markets? This is the share of foreign currency debt issuance. The blue bar again is the US dollar. More than 70% of foreign currency bonds issued are issued in the United States dollar. Again, dominant with the Euro being in second place, the pound, you see the renminbi, the Chinese currency, you can hardly even see it on there. Again, China, you could say maybe they're coming for the US, maybe not, but from a financial markets and currency perspective, they might be coming, but they've got a long, long way to go. Well, what about the BRICS? Speaking of China, the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, five big emerging market countries linked together somewhat in a loose organization. They come and they have meetings. Recently they had a meeting and I said, hey, we're gonna add another half a dozen members. We're gonna add Saudi Arabia, Iran, Egypt, Argentina. We're gonna add Ethiopia, bring in the United Arab, Arab Emirates. Anybody been to Dubai? It's nice there, lots of glitter, all right? Are these BRIC nations going to issue a currency? Well, the president of South Africa says they've never even talked about it. And if you think in order to issue a currency, you need to have common economic policies. Well, what's going on in Brazil may not be the same as what's going on in China. These countries would have to give up some of their sovereignty, give up some of their power over their own economy in order to issue a local currency, a combined currency. That seems like a long shot. Furthermore, even if they did issue a currency, would you want to buy it? Again, China, not freely convertible. Russia, international pariah locked out of the global financial system because of the invasion of Ukraine. Iran, locked out of the global financial system. Brazil, well, Brazil has had seven different currencies since the 1980s. Do you want to buy the newest one? Argentina, Argentina, not very long ago, had 3,000% per year inflation. We can all complain about things getting more expensive in the US, and that's at seven or 8%. Imagine 3,000%. You better go shopping at lunch, because by dinner, things are going to be more expensive. Ethiopia is one of the poorest countries on earth. I could go on and on. These countries all have their own issues. 
Many of them don't even get along that well. So when it comes to the BRICS, we think a lot of hype, not a lot of substance behind it. We don't think a BRIC currency is coming for the US dollar. In fact, we don't think anything's coming for the US dollar. It's all about the Benjamins. The dollar is far and away the dominant currency in the global financial system. That's not going to change. It doesn't mean the value of the dollar won't fluctuate up and down. It was down last year, so far this year it's up. As an investor, there are pros and cons to both a stronger US dollar as well as a weaker US dollar, and neither is good nor bad but we do not think the dollar is going to collapse and we don't think any other currency, whether a traditional currency or a digital currency is coming for the US dollar's place anytime soon. For more on this or anything else, visit us at purefinancial.com.